Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 89. It is Sunday, obviously, so that means I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm gonna get some food, so I might vlog a food shop since I'm back on almost full diet, but we'll see about that. We get Aldi vouchers as part of the team, so I might go and use those. But we ran out of food, so two eggs and just chucking everything in a pan and seeing what happens for breakfast today. And we've acquired the two dogs. They're over there. Maybe you'll see them later. All right, let's see what we get up to for the rest of the day. So I've decided to go with beans, spinach, lots of cheese, and as many eggs as I could find in the fridge. Look at this, look at we found, look at these dogs we found. Get up! Hello! Oh! Look at the puppies, look at the puppies. No! Oh, yeah. So we've been looking after these puppies, or I'm not. George and Adam are. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat that, and unfortunately, the smoothie has been reduced to a protein shake. Oh, because there's a severe lack of ingredients for a shake. So we're gonna eat that, and then we'll see what we're doing. And we've decided on what we're gonna to do today. Georgia Herbig has pulled out, out the bag and she's found out about Supercar Sunday. Super it's just- Supercar Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. 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 Adam's very excited. The aim for today is to get an Instagram picture to make people think that we could drive a Bentley. <laughs> Or a Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, no, right, Teddy. Supercar Sunday. <laughs> so Adam's very excited, and we're gonna go and see some supercars not far from the house. Excellent. Let's get going. And now we're outside the house. I actually managed to get a quick food shop in before Supercar Sunday. So I'm just gonna meet Adam and Georgia in town. Adam and no, Georgia's parents are gonna come with us. We're gonna go and see some supercars. But now I've got the food shopping done. I don't have to rush around because the shop's shut here at four o'clock on a Sunday. So now a little bit freer for the rest of the day. Enjoy the supercars. Let's get walking down to town. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of sky footage there. Just got a phone call. I've got a talk to do at Leander this afternoon. So what I'm going to do is get a supercar Sunday in, then go do a talk at Leander. Almost forgot, but thanks to the organization team at Leander Club, they called me ahead of schedule to remind me. Thought it was next weekend, but it's not, it's today. So I'm going to get changed, kind of, or get a change of clothes for after supercar Sunday for the talk, go Supercar Sunday, do some vlogging with Adam and Georgia and her parents, then the talk. Hopefully it all works out, soon find out. Sunday fun day, yeah buddy. Okay, gonna pick up stuff from the house. See you after. And I'm now at Leander Club. Unfortunately, Supercar Sunday will not be happening for me today just because I've got this talk to do and I don't want to be rushing around. I don't want to just go for half an hour and then come back and rush here. So what I'm going to do, chill out at Leander, get some food. I think Ross Jarvis is here reading a book. So I'm just going to chill out, do the talk, and then see what happens for the rest of the day. All right. And we've made it into Leander Club with Ross. Hello. <laughs> we've got some like fried chicken. <laughs> or we had some. It was delicious. With some potatoes for lunch. Because remember, food is fuel and some 
Despicable Me on the television as well. Excellent. Got that talk coming up in about 40 minutes. It's always exciting to share my experiences with other people. Hence the vlog. And I'm gonna see how Adam and George are getting on it. Supercar Sunday, unfortunately I can't be there. Let's get back to fueling up and I'll see about this talk. Okay, time to go do the talk now. Let's get to it. I think I'll leave the camera behind, let you know how it gets on after. See you later. And I've made it outside of Leander Club after the talk. It was really good. I was getting a bit nervous actually for the chat. But basically it was just sharing my experiences and I think vlogging helped me with sharing the experiences because it's essentially the same thing. Just talking away. Is that too bright? Is that? Just talking away at just random stuff. So I'm at the car. I've got some, got my new shoes. They're actually the same. They're the same, but not quite. They don't have fur in them. But I need to go change the laces now, obviously, because I can't have normal laces. Oh yeah. But it is unfortunate that I didn't become Supercar Sunday. So what I'm gonna do is, remember last week, or middle of the week, sorry, I went with Matt Tarrant to the rowing spin class kind of thing. So I'll add that video to the end of this, but that'll be it for this part of the vlog. Hope you enjoy the next part. And I've made it to London. London Paddington Station, wonderful train trip. Now I'm gonna to head to see Matt. A little bit of tube station action to the gym with Matt and then some working out. But I won't be doing the workout. Row Elite and Matt's coach man. And Chris, Matt and Chris will be doing the workout. Let's get to it. a little adventure on a tube to find Matt and Chris. Let's go get them. Okay, I've been walking around for about 10 minutes in the wrong direction. So we're going backwards, hopefully to find Matt who is waiting on Chris at the gym. But it's a beautiful day. Oh yeah, Thursday, throwback Thursday, beautiful sunny day in London in the afternoon. Let's go find Matt. And we're in Chris's gym. He's not here yet, but this is soon to be, perhaps, a erg studio with all the techno gym ergs and then a big screen up there somewhere so you can compete against your buddies who are in another row with their heart rates, their watts. We're gonna be a million ergs in here, getting sweaty with strobe lights, disco, disco, big speakers. What an interesting idea. It'd be great to come down here and land, Dan for an erg workout if you're ever bored once this is all set up behind me. But we're gonna figure out where Chris is. Maybe he's already at Lululemon. We'll find out soon. And we've decided to walk to Lululemon to find Chris, to set everything up. So what this is happening, or what I believe to be happening, going through some construction now, is the rowing workout at a Lululemon store as Chris, Matt, and themselves are all partnering up to become mega people. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go find Chris, the elusive Chris. <laughs> yeah. 
who probably is doing something that we're supposed to know about and we don't, maybe. But let's have some lovely slow-mo walking through a sunny London footage before we get a little lemon. Yes! So this is the elusive Chris we've got here. He's the man with all the air. <laughs> <Emotional, mate. laughs> and some slow mo footage of us setting up. Now we're in Lululemon and Marleybone. Still setting things up. But the class is about to start. Let's get some footage of this new rowing spin class, if you will. Let's get going. <laughs> and the class is finished. We're going to do some body fat testing, Matt. Are you excited? See how fat I am. <laughs> Matt thinks he's at least 50% body fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's find out. Great class here with Chris. He's really getting things going in the spin class, but on air goals. Here's Matt on the body fat machine. Okay. Moment of truth, mate. Moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. No, don't hold it just yet, mate. Steve. Oh, it's got to calibrate it. I'm not saying that. Okay. You got how, 10 uh, I know. how old are you, mate? Uh, 27. How short are you? In centimetres? Yeah. Uh, 196. Sure. Okay. Okay. Oh no, we're not. Oh, no, sorry. 196. Yeah. Okay, Maddie. So if you grip hold of these handles, lift it, take them off, stand tall by your sides, not at all, arms straight. 20 seconds, we'll know. How are you feeling, Matt? Yeah, how are you feeling, Matt? Tense. <laughs> what would you like to be? Yeah, what would you like to be? I Matt? have no idea what I'm supposed to be. Well, <laughs> my skin falls off, <laughs> right? <laughs> mate, we're going to cover up. You've got to give us a number between 1 and 100, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Put them back, mate. Uh, One and a hundred. What's good? Well, what, just give us a number. Just give us a number. Come on. Forty-six. <laughs> Is that do percent. Do you know it's not the same skin fold? Twenty percent. Oh. Fifteen point eight. Optimistic. That's all right. Fifteen eight. Is that all right? I what think that's I good. Mate. That's very good. What's the number? Then? Oh yes, it's working. <laughs> no, the bulk is working. That is that's 12 kilos up. That's a scary, <laughs> scary bulk. You got 10 kilos on me. What, how old are you, mate? Uh, 25. 204. Whoa. 204. That's ridiculous. Okay, mate, grab. <laughs> he has to reach down to those things. You, you must be pretty handy on the old skier as well, then, 
I'm yeah, I'm going, I'm going for like below 20, but higher than you. Well, last thing, mate, put the grips on there, and the moment of truth will come, and he let go, and the winner is. Oh! oh. <laughs> How? That's not even that. That's not, that's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Sweet, <laughs> I'll take it. And we've got picture time now with the boys in front of Lululemon. <laughs> Having a bit of a nightmare with the flags, but look at them. What's he doing in there? <laughs> Always an adventure. Okay, Matt and I are going to head for some food now after photo opportunity. And we've made it into five guys with Matthew. Um, have lettuce. He said no carbs. After six, it's after six. And he's having carbs. Alright, let's get some food. And we've got our milkshakes now waiting on the burgers. Get it on. So pretty. I want some burger. And we've got our meal. The burger, the fries, the no carbs, Matthew. <laughs> and that'll be it for the rest of this short vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. A little taster of what's to come from Chris and Matt. Have a good one.